Bay Suzy is always in the headlines mainly for her popularity. She is one of the most popular South Korean celebrities with millions of fans across the globe. Debuting as a K-pop idol in 2010 with the group Miss A, she's one of the few artists who went on to become successful as an actress. Her brilliant performances in highly rated K-dramas Dream High, While You Were Sleeping, and Start Up made her a household name in her home country. Here are 10 things about Bae Suzy that you may not know. Her job was as a model for a shopping mall. Bae Su Ji, better known as Bae Suzy was born on October 10, 1994, in Gwangju, South Korea. Before debuting as an idol with the group Miss A, she started off her career as a model for a shopping mall when she was only 15. She was interested in the entertainment world from the beginning and had dreamt of becoming a singer since her school days. She was dubbed the nation's first love. Her debut in film in the movie Architecture 101, where she played the younger version of the protagonist, earned her the name Nation's First Love for her innocent character in the film. However, while promoting her second mini-album Faces of Love in 2018, Susie admitted she wasn't a huge fan of the moniker. She said she was thankful, but felt it was something of a burden. She said, I thought, that isn't the only image I have, and will people be disappointed if I show this kind of image? I wanted to show you more diverse looks and more things that look like me. During the reality program, I really didn't care about what I looked like and showed you myself without being made up. There is also a sexy side of me, so I want to show you that, as well as innocent and feminine looks. I accept the many different parts that are a part of me and want to show you that. She wrote a novel and adapted it into a short film. The star is indeed multi-talented as she's also a novel writer. On Lungcom's official YouTube account, an online live broadcast was participated by Suzy to introduce her short film Live Your Strength in 2020. It tells the story of a couple who seemed like they'd be together forever, but ended up suddenly breaking up. It's a tale about growth and happiness as the main character overcomes the many different post-breakup emotions that anyone might experience and makes a new start. On the broadcast, it was then revealed by director Kim Ji-yoon, that the movie scenarios for the film were actually written based on Susie's mid-length novel. Susie also shared, There are stories that I'm writing for my own personal satisfaction in my spare time, but when I took on this project, I was talking with the director and he chose a story that he liked and adapted it. She supports humanism and fights for what is right. Humanism, as defined by a humanist website, is a progressive life stance that affirms our ability and responsibility to lead meaningful, ethical lives capable of adding to the greater good of humanity. While the idea of celebrities involving themselves in social movements is familiar to many in the West, it is a relatively new phenomenon in the Korean entertainment industry. Suzy once publicly showed support for a sexual assault victim's allegation against a photography studio that held an illegal and violating photo shoot. While there is controversy in relation to her decision to speak directly about this incident, fans are welcoming her taking action as one of Korea's biggest female stars to use her influence in a way that she believes helps the nation. When Suzy added her voice to the feminist movement in Korea, it made her fans feel empowered and proud. She said, I didn't want to let this pass, because with more people's attention and interest, a better solution could come forth. This is not because the victim is female. This isn't about feminism. This is from a human to another human. It's an intervention for humanism. She is a philanthropist. Susie puts her hard-earned money to good use by giving back to the community. In 2014, after the Sewol ferry accident, she anonymously donated $45,000 to a non-profit organization that assisted the affected families. In fact, she has been donating $10,000 each year to help young cancer and leukemia patients. By 2015, she became the 791st member of the Honor Society, consisting of members who donate large sums of money to charity. Since then, she donated to improve welfare for preschool-aged children in Korea and improve organ donation facilities and treatments. Her agency once stated, Suzy has never wanted to reveal that she donates. So she donates anonymously. I believe she discusses her decision with her mother before donating the money. She has also continued to donate towards various funds, including to the coronavirus relief efforts and to support underprivileged women receive support and basic necessities. She's not afraid to open up about her mental health. On an episode of Healing Camp, she talked about her depression. Because she debuted at such a young age, she didn't quite know how to deal with the tremendous amount of stress that accompanies a celebrity's life. She explained that her personality to keep things to herself didn't help much either. 
She came to a point when she thought, can I keep doing this? Will I be able to get through another day like this tomorrow? I used to think, no matter what happened, I had to accept it. That became quite stressful. I became somewhat depressed because of holding things in so much, but again, I wasn't able to share that with anyone. I ended up breaking down in front of a friend. We were laughing and having fun when I suddenly broke into tears. My friend got really worried about me and said I should try to talk things out when I'm frustrated. Apart from talking to family and friends to cheer her up, she also loves to read books and her favorite section is the psychology section. She often finds herself going straight to that particular section whenever she visits bookstores. She has a hobby of drawing. It's always a pleasant surprise when you find out that an actress is not only talented in acting, but is also talented at drawing. Susie has expressed that she likes to stay at home and raw. She can stay up for hours just doing random sketches. In an interview with Harper's Bazaar magazine in 2021, she said that she likes to draw as a hobby when she has free time between takes while filming, and she has recently taken an interest in drawing digitally. She bought her parents a house and a cafe. The road to stardom is not an easy path. Once they finally make it big, many celebrities use their earnings to express their gratitude for their parents' love and support. In addition to buying her parents a house in her hometown of Gwangju, Susie also fulfilled their lifelong dream of owning a cafe. She doesn't trust people easily. When you trust someone, it means that you believe they are dependable, reliable, and honest. A certain amount of trust is necessary for relationships. But trusting other people is not always easy, and the closer the relationship is, and the more you have to reveal yourself, the harder it can be. In an interview with Marie Claire Taiwan, Susie shared that she is the type of person that doesn't trust people easily and tends to be suspicious. She then explained, however, if I trust someone, I firmly believe them afterward. She has a unique drinking habit. Korea is known as one of the heaviest drinking countries in the world, with its own dedicated culture and everything. When people go out for drinks to catch up with close friends, it doesn't come off as a surprise that they end up drunk. Eventually, they get to a certain point where they start showcasing a wide range of different habits. Susie told Cosmopolitan in 2018, when I drink with my friends I really turn on a recorder and interview my friends. When we listen to it while sober later and hear things we didn't know or hear which words we spoke, it's shocking. We can't even remember that we said that stuff. She talked about using those words and basing song lyrics on them. She further said, I would like to have that kind of drunk interview. I think people slightly show their natural disposition when they are drunk.